Hi friends, uh, welcome you to this video. Uh, now I am doing a few problems in estimation and costing of sixth semester subject of mechanical engineering. Now in this, uh, some one student from uh, Mysore has sent me a few problems from 2019 and 2020 papers, question papers. I am solving them and making this video for the benefit of everybody, everyone, so that everyone gets benefited. Now, April, May 2020 paper, 11th question, question number 11, it is of April, May, two twenty. April, May 20, April, May 20, 2020 paper, 11th problem. 11th question. The market price of a machine is rupees 50,000. The market price of a machine is rupees 50,000. And the discount allowed is 20% of the market price. It is found that the selling expenses, selling expenses are 25% of factory cost 25 percent of factory cost and the material cost labor cost and factory overheads material cost labor cost factory overheads or in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 2 1 is to 4 is to 2 what profit is made by the factory on each machine if the material cost if the material cost is rupees 4000 rupees 4000 neglect other overheads this is the problem this is the problem for 10 marks now this is the market price Market price means it is it can also be called as the tag price or something like that. Now this is the price marked MRP marked on the machine. Now the person who is dealing with it, the dealer or the showroom owner, he is given a discount of 20%. Now the Discount works out to discount allowed. Discount allowed is twenty percent of mark, uh, this market price. That means point two zero into fifty thousand. That works out to ten thousand rupees. Right? Ten thousand rupees. So. Net selling price, net selling price which the manufacturer gets, the person who manufactures, that is the owner of, a, of the factory who is manufacturing this, he gets uh, 50,000, this is the tag price minus discount, that is 10,000 rupees which is allowed to the distributor. So what he actually gets per machine is 40,000 rupees. He gets 40,000 rupees by selling one machine. Now, this is the net selling price. This is what the manufacturer gets. Now, what we have to find out is, after that, we have to find out how much it has cost the manufacturer. That is, what is the exact amount the manufacturer has spent in making that machine. So that I will get here. He says, material cost is to labor cost, is to factory overheads is 1 is to 4 is to 2. That means, if material cost is 1 rupee, labor cost is 4 rupees and factory overheads are 2 rupees. For every 1 rupee spent on material cost, we are spending 4 rupees on labor cost and the factory overheads is twice the material cost. So if the material cost is rupees 4000, then labor cost, 
लेबर कॉस्ट विल बी रुपीज फोर थाउजेंड बाय वन दिस वन इनटू फोर दैट इज रुपीज सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फैक्ट्री ओवरहेड्स फैक्ट्री ओवरहेड्स और इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एस फैक्ट्री ऑन कॉस्ट इज फोर थाउजेंड बाय वन इनटू टू that is 8000 rupees 8000 so i get this 8000 from here now now the prime cost the basic cost prime cost of the machine will be direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus direct expenses if any now there are no direct expenses given this is not there that will be treated as zero so the prime cost will be 4000 material cost is 4000 and labor cost is 16000 and the direct expenses is zero if it is not given we have to take it as zero so it works out to 20000 rupees this is the prime cost pc prime cost now the factory cost factory cost of the machine factory cost or fc it is denoted as fc will be prime cost plus factory overheads so this will be prime cost is 20000 plus factory overheads are 8000 so it works out to 28000 this is factory cost rupees 28000 this is the factory cost of the machine now total cost total cost will be equal to factory cost plus selling expenses selling expenses now factory cost is 28000 and selling expenses he says selling expenses he says are 25% of the factory cost that is 0.25 into factory cost is 28000 which works out to 7000 so 28000 plus 7000 will be rupees 35000 this is exactly what the manufacturer has spent in manufacture of one machine now he is selling it to the distributor or the owner of the showroom at 40000 rupees so what is the profit that he makes he is making a profit on one machine the profit made on one machine is profit will be equal to will be equal to net selling price net selling price minus the total cost this is lesser selling price is greater so it is 40000 minus 35000 that works out to rupees 5000 5000 it's a very simple problem on costing anyway he has asked again uh she has sent a problem from april may 2019 april may 2019 that is also the eleventh problem again on costing on costing a factory is producing 1000 bolts and nuts per hour on a machine in one particular machine spell special purpose machine the machine is producing 1000 bolts per hour bolts and nuts per hour its material cost its material cost is rupees 375 
and labor cost labor cost is rupees 245 245 direct expenses direct expenses are rupees 80 80 right the factory on cost factory on cost is 150% of 150% of total labor cost total labor cost and the office on cost office on cost is 30% of the total factory cost 30% of the total uh, of the total factory cost factory cost if the selling price of each bolton nut selling price of each bolton nut is rupees 1.30 that is 1 rupee 30 paisa per bolton nut per bolton nut calculate uh, whether the management is going in loss or gain and by what amount this is the problem again this problem is also on elements of cost elements of cost right now again what you have to do is first you have to find out the prime cost prime cost of the product the product here is bolt and nut and that is 1000 bolts and nuts per hour for for a regular period now prime cost you know is material cost plus labor cost direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus direct expenses if any now in this problem he has given the direct expenses also are given so it will be 375 plus 245 245 plus 80 that is that works out to totally 5 plus 5 10 9 13 twenty two four plus 3 7 it works out to 700 rupees the total of these three works out to 700 rupees this works out to 700 rupees 700 rupees for 1000 for 1000 bolts and nuts 1000 bolts and nuts the prime cost this is the prime cost now factory on cost is 150% 150% of labor cost he says total labor cost that is nothing but labor cost so that is 1.5 into 245 1.5 into 245 that will be 245 into 1.5 Two forty-five into one point five. It is three eight three sixty-seven point five. Three sixty-seven point five zero. So many rupees. This is factory on cost. So factory cost. Factory cost will be a uh, prime cost plus. factory on cost or factory overhead so that will be 700 plus 367.50 that works out to 1067 rupees 50 paise for again 1000 bolts this is for 1000 bolts and nuts now uh office on cost office on cost that is other another overhead office overhead is 30% 30% of 
factory cost that is uh, 0.3 0.30 into uh, 1067 0.50 so into 0 0.3 0 0.3 that will be 110 110 rupees 25 paisa 110 rupees 25 paisa so total cost will be factory cost plus office on cost that is 1067.50 plus 110.25 it works out to plus 1067.5 so it's 1177 1177 rupees 75 paisa so so many rupees this is the total cost for 1000 bolts and nuts now we are selling we are selling each bolt and nut for rupees 130 now selling price of selling price of 1000 bolts and nuts 1000 bolts and nuts will be equal to 1.30 into 1000 that is 1300 rupees 1300 rupees this is the selling price now this is this amount we have spent in making the bolt and nut so are we making a profit or are we making a loss is it loss or gain it is gain because we are getting we are getting more than by selling this product we are getting more than what we are spending so the this thing is it is we are making a profit the profit made is the profit made is so there is a profit there is a gain gain or profit will be selling price minus total cost that is 1300 minus 1177.75 so that will be that will be 122 rupees 122.25 this is the profit for 1000 bolts and nuts if we sell 1000 bolts and nuts we get a profit of 122 rupees 25 paisa it is manufactured in one hour so in one hour the factory is making a profit of 122 rupees 25 paisa that is it now these two problems he has said uh, from the old question papers I am I have done it for the benefit of everyone so that not only he you can also get benefited others other students who are writing the exam next month uh, this I think uh, I don't know when is the ENC exam uh, anyway the exam is on your head and you will be using it then he has also sent some more problems uh, again from estimation and costing but not on uh, this thing elements of cost other chapters now he has sent two problems I think on welding welding that is problem number 15 problem number 15 of April May 220 2020 April May 2020 problem number 15 these are it, his dogs he is unable to he is not able to do these problems so he has requested me to do them and I am doing it and I am putting it on the video so that everybody can use it 
And now 15th problem, problem goes like this, two one meter long uh, MS plates of 10 mm thickness are to be welded by a lab joint with a 6 mm electrode. Calculate the cost of welding, assume the following data is easy. The problem is that now you have two plates, two plates, two plates which are one meter long. Uh, this is one plate, this is another plate. These two plates are to be welded. You have to weld them here and here, lab joint. You are lapping one over the other. So you have to weld it on both sides. So the length of the weld is, length of the weld is one plus one, two meters. This length is one meter. This length is one meter, plate length is one meter. Thickness is, we say, 10 mm. That is of no use for us. He says it is 6 mm electrode is used, even that is of no use. Now what data he gives is current used, I will call that as I, is 3 amps, 3 amps, current used. Then voltage, voltage is 250 volts, 250 volts. Welding speed, welding speed is 10 meter per hour, 10 meter per hour. Electrode used, electrode consumption is 0.3 kg per meter of welding, per meter welding, per welding 1 meter. Labor charges, labor charges, rupees 125 per hour, 125 per hour. Then power charges, power charges or rupees 16 per kilowatt hour per unit or per kilowatt hour. Cost of electrode. Cost of electrode is rupees 60 per kg. Rupees 60 per kg. And efficiency of machine. Efficiency of the welding machine. Welding machine is 60% or it is 0.60. Uh, this is the data, given data, and two plates are to be welded. Imagine that these are the two plates, these are the two plates, they are one meter long, yes, and the thickness is six, uh, 10 mm, that is of no importance to us, this is of importance. We have to weld here, lap joint means it is like this, one plate is lapping over the other, we have to weld here and we have to weld here. So this will be one meter, this will be another meter. So totally the length to be welded, length to be welded, welding length is, welding length is, Welding length is one plus one, that is two meters. Right. Now, in one hour, the welding speed is ten meters. That means in one hour, we can weld ten meters. Now, to weld, time required to weld. 2 meter length will be will be 2 by 10 that is length divided by welding speed so that will be 0.2 hours 
0.2 hours means it will take 12 minutes. 12 minutes to do it. We will have it in this thing, time. Uh, he hasn't given any fatigue time. Fatigue time means the time taken by the welder for uh, uh, going for coffee and other things. That is nothing is given. So it is 0.2 hours. We will take it as 0.2 hours. Now, labor cost. Labor cost will be time, welding time. This is welding time into rate. That is, rate means the cost charged by the welder per hour. So, 0 0.2 into 125, that will be rupees 25 rupees. 25 rupees. This is the labor cost. Now, uh, we have to again now find out electrode cost. Now consumption, electrode consumption, electrode consumption will be length of length of weld, length of weld into uh, this thing, electrode consumption, rate of electrode consumption. So it is given as 0.3 kg per meter of welding. So 2 meters into 2 meters is the length to be welded into 0.3 so that will be uh, 0 0.6 kg 0 0.6 kg now cost of electrode cost of electrode will be electrode will be electrode consumption consumption into rate the rate is given, consumption is 0 0.6 kg into rate is given as 60 rupees, 60 rupees per kg, so that will be 36 rupees, 36 rupees, this is the electrode cost. So we have found out labor cost, electrode cost and now we have to find out uh, power, cost of power. To find the cost of power here, power consumed, first we have to find out power consumed. Power consumed will be voltage into current into time, welding time. Voltage in volts, current in amps, that will give you the power in kilowatt, kilowatt, I mean sorry, watt. So if you divide it by 1000, you will get it in kilowatt. Kilowatt, if you multiply it by time in hours, that is welding time, you will get it in kilowatt hours, which is the unit of power. Unit of electric power is kilowatt hour. So into 1000. Here, because he has given the efficiency of the machine, that also must be taken into consideration. So current is 3 amperes, correct? Voltage is 250, current is 3 amperes, time is 0.2 divided by 1000 into 60. So many, uh, so into 0.6. This is 60%, that means 0 0.60. Alright, if you do it, you will get the power consumption in kilowatts per hour. Power consumption in kilowatt per hour, 250 into 3 into 0 0.2 divided by 0.25, it will be 0.25 kilowatt hours. To weld these 2 meters, you will use 0.25 kilowatt hours. Now, Cost of power rate is per kilowatt hour it is 16. So power charges, power charges are power consumed, power consumed into rate. That is 0 0.25 into 16. That will give you 4 rupees. 4 rupees. Now the welding cost. 
leaving the cost of the plate. Here the cost of the plate is not to be taken into consideration. Only the cost of uh, labor cost, labor charges, electrode cost and the power charges. So 36 plus 4 is 40. 40 plus 25 is 65 rupees. So the total, no other overheads are given. Nothing is given. So total welding cost, total welding cost is the sum of these three labor cost that is 25 rupees plus 36 rupees cost of electrode plus power cost 4 rupees so that works out to rupees 65 this is the cost that's it April 2020 question number 15 now this you will uh, this is electric arc welding problem this is how it should be done again it carries 10 marks again he has sent April May 2019 April May 2019 uh, paper again problem number 15 again on welding this is also a problem on welding welding shop estimation in welding shop again it is a problem on electrical arc welding now here a cylindrical boiler drum 2.5 meter by 1 meter dia it's like this 2. Point, this is the drum this is the drum it is like this drum in which you boil the heat the water and convert it into steam now its length is 2.5 meters this way it is 2.5 meters and the dia here the dia is 1 meter 1 meter dia this is how it is you can make a rough sketch like that to be made from 15 mm thick MS plates that is of no, no consequence to us both the ends are to be closed by, by welding circular plates to the drum the cylindrical portion is to be welded along the seam that means you have to weld it here you have to do welding here the welding is to be done here and it is also to be done here when you close this and it should be done here also here also you have to do it on both sides both the ends it is like this see when we are making a boiler drum we take a sheet like this a sheet, a sheet is taken like this it is rolled it is rolled like this it is rolled into a cylindrical shape now here you get a this is called the longitudinal joint this is called the longitudinal joint you weld it here and then two circular plates will be welded here so this so this is the what we have to do we have to do it by welding electric arc welding welding is done on both sides that is you do it the welding from inside as well as outside we do it from both sides now <laughs> calculate electric welding cost using the following data is rate of welding rate of welding that is speed at what speed welding is done rate of welding is uh, 2 meters per hour 2 meters per hour on inner side inner side and 2.5 meters on outer side 2.5 meters per hour on outer side when you are doing it from outside the speed is more you can uh, more uh, do it longer right when you are doing inside it will be slow the welding rate of welding will be slow next length of electrode required length of electrode required is is uh, 1.5 meter 1.5 meter per meter of welding per meter of weld then 
कॉस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड कॉस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड कॉस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड इज रुपीज टू पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो टू रुपीज सिक्स जीरो पर मीटर पर मीटर पावर कंजम्पन पावर कंजम्पन इज फोर किलो वैट आवर पर मीटर वेल्ड पर मीटर ऑफ वेल्ड पावर चार्जेस पावर चार्जेस ट्वेंटी फाइव पैसे पर किलोवैट आवर पर किलोवैट आवर देन लेबर लेबर चार्जेस is rupees 4 per hour rupees 4 per hour other overheads other overheads are 100% of prime cost 100% of prime cost discarded electrodes discarded electrodes 5% fatigue and setting up time fatigue and setting up time time 5% of welding time 5% of welding time probably you have this paper if you have the paper there is no necessity to write all that now first of all here what we have to do is we have to find the length of length of the belt now length to be welded length to be welded i will take outside separately inside separately the length will be same outside it will be 2 pi d 2 pi d plus l see here when you are welding this this thing one circular disc is welded here one circular disc is welded here this will be the circumference circumference is equal to pi into d so pi d this side pi d that side it will be 2 pi d plus this seam belt length of the seam so this will be 2 into pi that is 3.14 into 1 plus 2.5 so it will be 6.28 plus 2.5 6.28 plus 2.5 that will be 8. Point, 8. Point, uh, 78 meters 8.78 meters outside length to be welded inside that is also 8.78 meters same same length so total will be total total length of weld length of weld will be 8.78 Plus eight point seven eight or eight point seven eight into two, sixteen plus five six, seventeen point five six meters. Seventeen point five six meters is the is the total length to be welded. Length of the total welding length. Now why I did this separately is the time required for welding is different. from inside and outside because the speed of welding will be different yes given different speed for outside and different speed for uh is the uh, inside now time required time required to weld 
from outside outside will be will be 8.78 divided by 2.5 that is for outside time required for inside welding is 8.78 divided by 2 outside will be faster inside will be slower so 8.78 divided by 2.5 means it works out to 3.5 3.512 you can take it as 3.5 hours now 8.78 divided by 2 that will be 4.39 you take it as 4.4 4 point out 4 hours now total time required time required will be will be outside time plus inside time plus fatigue time he has also given fatigue allowance or fatigue time fatigue time means you can't expect a uh, welder to be welding continuously from morning to evening so he has to go for uh, some break yes he will take he will take some rest he will take coffee like that so that is called as fatigue time that is the allowance given so this will be outside will be 3.5 this will be 4.4 plus fatigue time is given as 5% setting up time on this thing is given as 5% means 0 0.05 into total uh, of total welding time 3.5 plus 4.4 this is 8.9 right 8.9 8.9 into 0 0.05 that is 0 0.445 plus 8.9 that will be 9.345 hours 9.345 hours this is the total welding time now we got the total welding time labor charges will be labor charges we can straight away find out that is time into rate time is 9.345 hours into rate is 4 rupees per hour he says into 4 into 4 that works out to 37.38 you can make it as 37 rupees 40 paise this is the labor charges next we, there is no plate cost here also plate cost is not there so next what we have to do we have to find out the electrode cost electrode cost and power cost that's all add all of them you will get it now electrode consumption consumption of electrode consumption of electrode is uh, given as for 1 meter you require 1.5 meter long electrode so for how many meters we have found out it is 17.56 uh, 17 17.56 into 1.5 plus discarded electrodes discarded electrodes will be uh, means the electrodes small electrodes at the end after welding small pieces that will come we will throw it that is given as 5% of the total consumption that means it will be 
this will be this will be 17.56 into 1.5 this is the actual consumption into 0 0.05 that is 5% of that so 17.56 into 1.5 that works out to 26.34 26.34 plus 5 percent of that 0.05. that works out to 1.317 to this if I add this plus 26.34 if it is added you will get 27 point 27.657 you can take it as approximately 27.7 meters 27.7 meters now the cost per meter is given as 2 rupees 60 paisa so cost of electrode cost of electrode will be there the electrode consumption was given in kg here it is given in meter the rate is also given per meter so 27.7 into 2.6 2 rupees 60 paise so 27.7 into 2 rupees 60 paise that will be 72 rupees roughly 72 rupees this is the cost of electrode next power consumption here we are directly as given 4 kilowatt hour per meter weld so power consumption will be consumption will be total welding time how much is the total welding time no total this thing 17.56 is the length total length multiplied by 4 4 kilowatt hour per meter of welding so 17.56 into 4 so the power consumption is 70.24 70.24 kilowatt hour now cost of power cost of power will be power consumed 70.24 into cost per this thing 25 paise means it is 0.25 rupees per kilowatt hour so 70.24 into 0.25 that will be 17.56 say 17 rupees 60 paisa 17 rupees 60 paisa now the total cost will be 17.6 that is power cost plus electrode cost that is 72 rupees plus labor that is 37 rupees 40 paisa so this will be 1 rupee 37 so 18 55 55 plus 7 55 plus one twenty. 7 rupees I think something like that you will get that will be the total welding cost he has sent two three more problems not in the same this thing uh, different I think foundry forging etc he has sent three more problems I will be doing it in one more video later ok this I am finishing this video because it has taken a lot of time I am these four problems I am doing and sent, putting it on, I am publishing it uh, today mostly.